Hello, Americans. Another friend subscribers around the world. Back again, man. <laughs> Getting ready to do the hillbilly shop. All right, so I think I, uh, I think the camera's freaking went off when I was doing the shuffle. But so when I look back at it, man, it looked like it was dead, dude. I don't know. Anyway, getting ready. Well, now I'm going to wait because it's raining right now. Was it supposed to rain today? They don't know what the hell. Old lion Larry, he don't know nothing. Actually, he did because it was raining down in Boise. But the weather, so this weather.com or whatever crap I have, it don't know crap. It's lying something. Um, anyway, uh, I want to work on the tractor, I ain't gonna do it in the rain, so, man, we got 20 pounds of pinto beans right here, man, big old bag of bird seed, I like to feed the, throw some out for the quail and stuff to help them out a little bit during the winter time, oh, dude, check this out. I'll tell you a story, <laughs> dude, I'm kind of a magazine junkie, I have been my whole life. Then I got the whole, uh, I got hundreds of, uh, you know, grew up reading Mother Earth News and all that, you know, and I'm really into the, I love my uh, Backwoodsman, had a subscription to that for years, but, you know, I mean, dude, I got so many bucks off of that, you know, and it's just like, oh, dude, I read a couple articles and stuff on things I already know, you know, there's a lot of stuff on knives and stuff like that, Backwoodsman's an amazing magazine. But I curved myself, which my wife was very impressed a couple of years ago of buying magazines. And the prices, I can't believe the price of a magazine these days. But yesterday, excuse me. Yesterday. I don't know if you can see it. Oh, yeah. Jeremiah Johnson. Dude. That is my all-time, all-time favorite movie since I was a kid, you know. And when I tell you, I've got it on V. I've got two or three VHSs, uh, Blu-ray, DVDs, multiples. That is a, a movie that, I mean, if you watch my video, if you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. But if uh, you listen to my videos, you'll hear it in the background sometimes because I play it. I have literally watched it and listen to it hundreds and hundreds of times it's my all-time favorite freaking movie and seeing this man and this is actually the 50th jeremiah johnson uh it's been 50 years since he made that movie 
And that's Liver Eating Johnson, man. I got all the books on it and everything, you know, man, because it's actually Liver Eating Johnson. I won't go all into all that stuff. But this is actually uh, behind the all-time greatest mountain man movie ever. And, dude, it's, dude, they put stuff on there to sell magazines. I paid ten freaking dollars for this magazine. Ten dollars and ninety-five cents, <laughs> dude. Holy crap, dude! I had to have it. Hey, get over here, get Grand Daisy. Get over here, dear man, dear. And then I was actually I ran into my buddy uh, up there in uh, McCall. Can you keep your dogs under control, lady. Um, ran into uh, my neighbor actually. Um, you know he's quite a ways away, but uh. We, you know, keep in contact about the bears and stuff, and he said he's been having a lot of bears moving around on his place, and he just lives on the same creek, man, just up the creek, probably. Oh, he's probably up there, a quarter of a mile, maybe. Oh, pretty good jaunt, but uh, I told him they haven't been, I think my dogs are doing their job, so I haven't had too much, I haven't seen them, you know, the deer, which kind of bums me out, because I'll Wish they wouldn't chase the deer because I like the deer coming up here, but so anyway, let's see what else we get. I gotta unload this thing. All right, man. <coughs> let's sprinkle it out here just a little bit. Um things I got, a couple gifts I got to show you. Uh First, I guess we'll start off. And I don't show a lot of, uh, um, don't show a lot of guns and stuff on the, uh, on videos because I don't really think it's anybody's business. Let's see, man, you can hear equipment, man. Before anybody asks, you can hear equipment in the back, man. They're, they're invading me, man. But I gotta tell you about this. This is an 1897 Winchester 3030, and this was a birthday present for me because my birthday is here in a couple weeks or whatever. And Miss Raina, this was her dad's and his and her grandpa's because it was his father-in-law and they were pretty close. And this. We're naming him Arnie, because his name was Arnold, and his best friend came, called him Arnie. So, uh, <laughs> but it, uh, oh, dude, it's amazing, amazing. They did add this scope, you know, as far as, to, man, it's priceless to me, man, it's not going nowhere, ever, uh, other than down to my kids or grandkids. Dude, I'm speechless about it. I absolutely, uh, absolutely love it. I was trying to read. You can't read. See, now they added, which as far as if you were doing collector value and stuff, because they added this scope to it. You know, it's got a nice old Bushnell scope on it, man, with the old weaver mount on the side here. And as far as collector value, you know, you add that stuff and it uh, takes away from the value but they sidestepped it over so that you can use the scope, you know, this way. Go like this, man, and use the sights. That's amazing. But you know, I'm leaving it just exactly the way it is. Old Arnie, man. I'm so happy. Thank you so much, dude. I love this. Oh, I'll tell you about, uh, so I went out. You know, I got, I picked up that. Um, 30 odd six. I bought a new 30 odd six for hunt last year. And got shells and all that stuff for that thing. I haven't even shot it. Might take it up. I'm definitely taking the 30 30 out to shoot it. Um, I've always been a lever. I, I love my lecture, lever actions and my pumps, man. Um, but what was I getting at? Oh, anyway, I'm probably selling back. I'm probably selling. It's funny because I bought the 30 odd six from my son in law, from Timothy's brother. Because he wasn't, he was going to, he's done, man. He's done with hunting, rifle hunting and stuff. 
when this year he's all gung ho again, he's all, hey man, uh, what you do with that hot six? I'm just gonna sell it back to him, same price. But anyway, uh, I went out there yesterday, you know, because I always hear all these shortages and stuff, you know, and like it's nobody's business how much ammo I got or how many guns I have or what kind of guns I have. It's just not something I care. Not only that, YouTube kicks your shit off anyway. So, uh, uh, anyway, man, I'd, I've had probably, I don't know, over the years, a dozen, you know, lever action 3030s. You know, I'll buy them, man, keep them for a while, then sell them or trade them. And the last one I traded for a boat motor, a little tin horse. But, uh, so I thought, oh, man, I'll just swing it, you know, because you hear about all the, the ammunition, you know, and all the shortages and all that. And, man, I'm pretty I'm pretty well stocked up on ammo. I mean, if I'm going to junk sell or something like that and see, uh, you know, 22s or, four, or uh, 12 gauge or something else that I might have around here, then I'll pick them up. But, uh I hadn't went out and shopped, you know, for shells. I always keep my eye out for 9 millimeters for Kara. But, so I thought, oh, no big deal, man. So yesterday, dude, five places, I think. You know, all the, uh, you know, you see me go through that. If you watch my videos and stuff, I went through the, you know, back there when I went back to the gun area. Um, checked to see if they had 3030s. None there, man. Four places, I think. Three or four places. Yeah, a couple of places were almost kind of rude about it, man. Bymart was one of them, man. They were just like, no, we ain't got nothing. You know, 30-30. You know, 170 grain, 180 grain, I don't care. And anyway, so long story short, we take that long way around and end up up there at Ridley's. And Ridley's has a, a sporty good section of stuff, so I went over there. And man, their shells are just bare, man. There's, you know, some 7.62s and some oddball things and stuff. No 9 millimeters or nothing. But, dude, there's this whole stack of 30, 30, 170 grain bullets. And I can't remember, man. The last time that I bought 30, 30s, I think they were like 12 bucks a box or something a few years back. And they were 17 bucks a box, 17.95 a box. And so I got a couple of boxes, and the old boy tells me, he's all, man, you're lucky he's all, dude, these just came in. I just put these on the shelf, and they'll be gone by night. <laughs> I was like, sweet. So, sure, I'll film. I'll probably take that up the mountain with me tomorrow, and uh, got to test it. Kara shot it and said that that scope's just dialed in, man. So, thank you so much. I love that thing. That's my baby. Love it. And then this, I got to show you this. This is another gift. This is something... Katie Joe, she knows I like my quartz and everything. So she, they were down on the Salmon River picking up some rocks. And yeah, nice piece of quartz, huh? Said it was buried just like that, man. And she's seen it. She's all, I think I'll take that for Dad. And she flipped it over and stuff. Brought it to me. Sitting on her floorboard just like this. She's all, oh, Dad, I got you that rock right there and stuff. So I grabbed that rock. Pick it up. And look, oh, man, that is one nice crystal. Look at that mother. That is a quartz crystal top. Can you imagine what that thing could have been, man? Of course, I'm like, and Katie didn't even notice that it was a dang crystal. Look at that. And man, of course, I'm just drilling her. Where'd you find that? Where'd you find that, man? I'll tell you what, if I'd have found this thing, I would know that I would be able to take you to the exact hole on the river of where I found that. But man, I will treasure that forever. Thank you, Katie. <laughs> man, I feel so loved. Anyway, that's all I got for today, man. I got to get busy. I'm going to, uh, one of the things is pull the swamp. I got to roll hoses. I got to pull the swamp cooler. And we have a lot of, you know, because we are on our own well. And we have a lot of calcium. So I got a lot of calcium build up, build up on my swamp cooler. I'll pull the uh, old pads out, man, get rid of them. And, uh. Scrub it down, get it all cleaned and put up for the season. Roll the hoses. I got to work on this. Uh, got to figure out where I'm going to put all this damn hydraulic fluid. Um, still haven't emptied out the van. Stop sprinkling right now, but it is supposed to. We'll probably be up on the fish fence tomorrow. Wouldn't be surprised if we're running around in snow. Supposed to have a storm coming in for the next, it wasn't supposed to be here today, but for the next three or four days, 
supposed to have and snow in the mountains so wouldn't be surprised if we get some snow down here too i got firewood to put up man i need to get with it and carrying this camera around i'm gonna be jumping around so that's all i got for you today man so please remember to like subscribe and share it helps keep the lights on the home fires burning them propane tanks food um check out the links below um Cause with this rain and stuff when it rains if i'm out in it you know like track or whatever i'll go in and list so there'll be a bunch of news man i got so much stuff to list so much stuff to build so much firewood to put up i got so much to do so i gotta get after it good lord willing and them creeks don't rise we'll be back again tomorrow see ya